Yeah. We just gonna just gonna spit on this one. Yo. All right, what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Jerice back at it with another episode of. Real talk. And so, Jussie Smollett guilty of staging race baiting hate attack to boost career. Just clap for that, you stupid bastard. So, uh, the verdict is in. I know I'm a day late and probably a dollar short, but Jussie Smollett has officially been found guilty of staging a hate crime against himself. So. There might be hope for humanity after all. So, going into the article from the New York Post, says, Nearly three years after he claimed two Trump-loving bigots beat him up, <laughs> tied a noose around his neck and doused him in bleach. Fucking weird. <laughs> I know when most black people uh, heard that, they were like, <laughs> like, we know you lying, bro. But, Jesse Smollett was convicted on Thursday of staging a hate crime in a misbegotten bid to raise his public profile. Twelve jurors in Chicago criminal court found the disgraced actor guilty of five of six counts of felony disorderly conduct for filing a false police report following testimony from 13 witnesses and more than nine hours of deliberation says as the jurors read out the verdict smullet 39 stood huddled with his attorneys and kept his eyes trained on the panelists remaining stoic as a flanks of family members who watched the eight-day trial from the front row of the gallery sat frozen the actor who took more than an hour to return to the courthouse to hear the jury's verdict and now fate up to three years in jail was later seen embracing his siblings some of whom didn't stand for the jury before the panelists left the courtroom ah well <laughs> says following the verdict uh, Smollett's lead defense attorney uh, Ninye U Uche said the actor plans to fight the conviction on appeal. He's committed to clearing his name, and he's 100% confident that... the hell? It's kind of mad in here. 100% confident that he's going to get cleared by the appellate court, Uche told reporters. So, long story short, uh, dumbass got caught lying with a hilariously bad story, and now I guess... To beat a dead horse, they're going to try to appeal this for some strange reason, even though I don't know how they would go about this unless they get the most liberal of liberal judges, who I guess is a Justy Smollett fan. But um, yeah, this is this is kind of stupid. But here, here's what I really want to get into, because that's not the main topic. What? No, no, no. This is the main topic. Black Lives Matter stands with Jesse Smullett after verdict, but Don Lemon doesn't. <laughs> oh God, Don Lemon, the um, the other seemingly biracial uh, homosexual black man, does not stand with his definitely biracial uh, homosexual black man buddy. So. From the L.A. Times, because, you know, Los Angeles, such a great city. Such a great city, right? Social justice organization Black Lives Matter is still standing with Jesse Smollett after the actor was convicted Thursday of staging a racist, homophobic attack and lying to police about it. So what you're saying is that Black Lives Matter is such a shitty organization that you can blatantly lie to police to try to boost your own career and they'll still stand beside you so I, I guess you can literally do anything and BLM will have your back because as long as you're black and or homosexual I'm guessing it's the combination of the two um yeah we'll stand beside you buddy <laughs> it's not your fault it's white supremacy's fault I'm sure those darn white people that made him hire these two Africans to attack him and lie and say that they were MAGA hat wearing Trump loving 
uh, homophobic uh, white men. Yep. Totally white people. Yep. Just throwing it out there. But his old friend Don Lemon, the CNN anchor who once defended him amid allegations of the hoax, is not supporting him. <laughs> Go figure, right? When you thought the shit was real, um, he had your back. And then after a little bit of pondering on the subject, and now that the shit has been uh, publicly denounced to be fake, um, Don Lemon said, uh, I'm, I'm washing my hands with you, bro. I, I can't be involved with this. <laughs> I'm not trying to go down with your sinking ship. Golly, it just goes to show um, how much uh, some people have your back, right? It says, Smullett, best known for his role on the TV series Empire, was found guilty Thursday on five of six counts of disorderly conduct. His attorneys say they plan to appeal the decision, which legal experts have said bears a light penalty for the actor that would likely include probation and community service. The charges stem from a January 2019 incident in downtown Chicago. Smullett, 39, told police, so told Chicago police, sorry. At the time, he had been attacked by two masked assailants who hurled racist and anti-gay slurs at him, or as they hit him, poured a chemical substance on him and put a rope around his neck. <laughs> what the fuck? Like I, I just again I I hate beating a dead horse I really do, but I just want you to picture this right. This black man is walking outside at two three in the morning. It's fucking well below freezing, and these two quote unquote white men are also outside while it's well below freezing at two and or three in the morning, and they see this black guy. And they go, hey, aren't you that guy from Empire? This this is just these words, not mine. <laughs> they said they threw um, a very uh, homosexual and uh, racist slur in there. But um, they go, aren't you that guy from Empire? Because me, a black guy, not knowing who that is, I'm sure as fuck. Uh, two racist white men aren't going to know who he is. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. And then they proceed to run up on him. I don't, I don't even know how they would catch him, but, you know, whatever. Because if I see two people running at me, guess what? I'm going to take off running. But, you know, you know, logic, reasons, things of that nature. So they run up on him, start beating him up, you know. And then I, I guess they just had a bottle of bleach. Like... I don't know, maybe maybe they were in a car and they jumped out of the car and then after they forced them to the ground, they went back to the car to grab the bleach. And then, like, maybe another dude had, like, the rope in his, like, jacket or something, you know, like, tucked away in, like, one of the inner pockets or something. And, you know, they whipped it out and tied it around his neck and they yelled, this is MAGA country. In deep blue Chicago. Yeah, highly unlike. I stay in the South, and I've never seen no shit like that in my fucking life. And you mean to tell me up in a uh, super liberal North, deep blue Chicago, you had these uh, MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters just out walking the streets at two in the morning? All right, cool, bet. As authorities investigated the incident as a possible hate crime, numerous celebrities, politicians, and other public figures spoke out in support of Smullett in 2019 and condemned the alleged attack. And I have yet to see any of those same uh, celebrities, politicians, and other public figures retract their statements now that this has been proven to be a hoax. But that's the conversation y'all ain't ready to have. Earlier this week, BLM backed Smullett uh, during his criminal trial after the verdict was announced late Thursday. BLM Los Angeles leader Melina Abdullah told TMZ that his stance hasn't changed and Smullett still has the organization's full support. Representatives for BLM did not immediately respond Friday to the Times' request for comment. 
And it says, as abolitionists, we approach situations of injustice with love and align ourselves with our community. Because we got us, BLM said in a Tuesday statement. So let's be clear. We love everybody in our community. It's not about a trial or a verdict decided in a white supremacist charade. It's about how we treat... Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Literally, um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you want to call this a white supremacist charade. Um, guess what, BLM? All the major players in this were black. Oh my God! I say that again. Everybody involved in this situation was black. Hey yo, what the fuck? They're black. What? Yeah, I know. They're they're black. <laughs> so how can you call this the white supremacist charade when this whole situation wouldn't have been happening if it wasn't for black people? Like literally black people were the catalyst of this situation. They started this and that's how we ended up with this situation. But but, 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 that is neither here nor there. So, good old BLM, it doesn't matter about the truth, it doesn't matter about what's been proven to be false, as long as you're black and or particularly homosexual, hey, we'll have your back. And, um, so what if it makes the, the race look bad as a whole? It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're just here to promote an agenda. But, with that... Let me know if I made a little bit of sense, a lot of sense, or if I just made you laugh. But it's been your boy Jarese back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. I'm out. Whoa, dude. This fucking nerdy man needs to start with all these hard bangers, bro. People that change the world are frightening. Yeah, yeah, yeah.